In this video, I'm gonna go through how you create a Facebook form in a Facebook ad in order to generate low cost leads. Now, this isn't new, it's been around for some time, but it is becoming more powerful in order to generate leads through Facebook. Now, previously, where we sent people to the website if they didn't take action, that lead was lost to us and we actually had no idea who they were. Now we can follow up using a Facebook pixel and retarget them with further ads, but that's more money and we're gonna find different ways in order to convert them. That's great if they need to be nurtured, but there is a simpler way, which is forms. What that means is when they open up the form in the Facebook ad, it auto populates that form with the information that's saved in Facebook. So all they have to do is press submit. And we've got leads coming in for some of the businesses that we work with as little as 30 pence. Uh, now that is really powerful in the aspect of what it generally costs when you are doing uh, Facebook ad marketing. Others are coming in at 15, 16 pounds, but when you look at the cost that that client brings to their business, it's still only around 0.1%. So forms is definitely the way to go. What's powerful about forms, what makes it unique is not necessarily the Facebook ad, but it's the ability to capture that information within Facebook and automatically send it to your CRM system. Now, for us, we use high level as I am a certified high level administrator. But we also, well, and we also have Sales Ember, which is our white labeled version of that. But you can do this with pretty much any CRM system out there. It's a really powerful technique in order to generate low cost leads. So let me jump into Facebook now and show you exactly how you go about building them. So here we are within Facebook. The first thing that we need to do is go up to create just up here and I'm gonna press create. Now, normally where we would be using traffic in order to get those landing page views or link clicks, what we're gonna use instead is leads. So I'm gonna press leads here. Now, You've got the ability to use the streamlined campaign in order to get that to do a lot for you, but I wanna do manual setup. I love manual setup. It just allows me to have a bit more control because I understand it. And if you can use manual setup, it's something that I advise you to do. So I'm gonna press continue there and just let that load. Now you can see up here, it falls into three categories. You've got your uh, lead campaign up here, then your ad set, uh, and then basically your, um, your uh, ad itself. So you've got the overall campaign, the ad set, and the ad itself. So just gonna check here, new leads campaign, you can leave that, you can normally label it to whatever you want it to be. So this could be like targeting workshop conversions, conversions, just there. Scroll down and then I'm gonna press next, which will then jump it over to the ad set. Now the ad set, you're just gonna need to make sure that you've got instant forms just there. Scroll down, make sure that you've got Facebook page right and that you've accepted the meta terms and conditions for this. And then what we're gonna do is scroll all the way down, down to here. Don't worry about catalog because that's if you've got products. So now we're down to budget. Now, what I advise is bringing this down to something like 10 pounds a day, five pounds if you want to, once you start understanding the cost per lead, but you gotta understand your niche, your sector um, in order to know your daily budget. So sit at 10, 20 pounds for a few days just to see what they're coming back at and then you can scale it accordingly. Start date, I always do the today's date, so I'm gonna do it, but I always put it in advance. Um, it used to be back in the day that if your Facebook ad uh, went through its verification process and launched after the start date of time and time, then sometimes it failed. So it's always a habit to make sure it's in the future. And I always set an end date. And the reason I do this is because I want my ad to stop and me not forget about it. Uh, and then it continue going and charging me. So I normally set it for a week, so that way I can monitor the results and decide what I'm gonna do from there. Now, we're not gonna use budget scheduling, we're gonna scroll down to audience controls. Now, what I'm gonna do here, first of all, is just change this to be a city. So Sheffield, and what you can see, as soon as I press this, the audience size here will change. At the moment, it's targeting up to 57 million people because it's targeting all of the UK um, uh, that are on Facebook. I'm gonna do Sheffield, and now we're down to 3,200,000. Now, if you use Advantage Plus Audience, then the ad technology will find the audience for you, but if you haven't give Facebook enough information, then it tends not to understand who it is it should be targeting. So what I like to do is I like to do switch to original here, so switch to original audience, and then I can do the old school setup and be in control of it. So first of all, Sheffield is already set, I wanna keep that. Age, 
I don't want to target anyone retired, uh, so I'm going to bring it to 64. And again, I don't want to target anyone too young, so I'm going to do 24, which is there. Uh, and then I'm going to do detailed demographics. Now, what I can do here is use the suggestions, but I need to give it a prompt. So let's just say for this, I'm going to run a workshop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to target digital marketing agencies. What I'm going to do is digital marketing just there. And then I'm going to go for job interest. So the second that I press digital marketing strategist job title, you'll see this number here changes and these down here. So I'm going to do job titles just there. Brilliant as an exchange. So let's continue doing that anyway. So now I've got that in there as a job role. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit suggestions and then I'm just going to bring in a few more social media managers are good. Social media marketing, people in job roles, uh, marketing communication managers, uh, marketing consultants. Um, so I can use the suggestion box in order to keep uh, bringing some people in there. Brilliant. So now I've got targeting, detailed targeting, targeting these people just here. Now I can narrow the audience. So I can say, right, I'm going to narrow this down. Now they need to be any of these and they also need to be a Facebook page admin. There we go. Now you can see that I have changed this to below zero. It's really small now and I don't want that. So I'm going to delete this again. It's not something I want to do. And I'm going to bring that back up here. Uh, demographic work job titles there. Company that's so high really. It hasn't changed much, but that's what Facebook's saying. So that's what it reckons I am going to get. Now I can save this audience so I can use it again. Um, or I can just go over to the next page. So next just here. Now I'm in my ad. So I can give this a name if I want to give my ad a name. And the reason why we name the ads as well as the campaigns is because you can use ads uh, for different campaigns as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, make sure my Facebook's right and my Instagram is right. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I want a single image, um, not a carousel, so that's right. And then I'm going to change my image just here. So I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to add, oh, then I'm going to add the uh, image. And then I'm going to select uh, account and see if there's one here. Just in here, I can't actually see it. I know it's in here. Uh, um, add image. Yeah, there it is. I must have had video. Uh, there it is just there. I'm going to grab that one just here. Normally I like to use a bit more uh, imagery rather than just text. Um, though the ones that we got working well are text um but this will uh, work for now i can press next and i can see all the other optimized just to make sure that it's going to look fine elsewhere and done brilliant so now there is my ad what i'm going to do is now i'm going to add uh, the information so um title come along to my workshop again this is really basic text um you would spend longer thinking about it and again there's loads of information about how you think about it and then i'm just going to grab some text to go into my primary text boom there so now i've got my text up here uh, i've got my um, title here i've got my picture here uh, and then what i can do now is um just scroll down so that's all set up brilliant now if i scroll all the way down you can see this is where my forms are down in my destination so when someone clicks on this sign up but this will change to learn more um, when I press this, when someone presses this just here, what will happen is it will open up the form. So I'm going to create a form I'm going to call this test just there. I want more volume, not higher in 10. I want to get as many people in as I can. Um, so I'm just going to go to intro. Then it says like, do you want to change, um, this background here? And I'm like, do you want to use it the same as the ad or do you want to change? It? I want to change it because that doesn't work here. So let me just grab. Um, this one just here. <clears throat> there we go. So that works better as a background. And then I need to give it a headline. Um, so find out more, um, find out more. There we go. Um, submit your info and get instant access to, uh, online course and signed up for a practical course practical course in sheffield on 
the 9th of April 2024. There we go. And you can have a bit more information as well. Again, I'm not worrying too much about text on this. Um, so um, do make sure that you go through your text to make sure it's all correct. All right, questions that you want to ask. So I can add at the moment email, uh, full name, um, and then I can ask anything else. So I can say uh, I want their phone number as well. Change the, push the full name up to the top there. So there we go. They're the three things that I want as well. Um, this information. So um, we will confirm your space on the upcoming practical course. There we go. Just saying, let people know how their information will be used there. And then privacy, you're going to add your privacy link uh, into here. So I will just grab mine because you will need to put one in there. Privacy policy. So the link is that one there. And then the link text is just here. There, and you can see now it's appeared in here. There's a policy that you need and then completion. Thanks, you're all set. You can visit our website form now, or I normally say um, go to my YouTube channel. Brilliant. And then I will just give them my YouTube channel just there. So youtube.com forward slash at marketing robotics just there. You probably need the full HTTPS. So I'm just going to go and get that. There we are. Oh, opened up my YouTube channel. <clears throat> There we go. Brilliant. So it's just changed down there as well. So that's there. Um, and then you can add any information you're in here. So um, mark, actually, I'll put here, mark the date for 9th of April 2024. There we go. And then what I would do is create the form. And then that would create the form. I can go to settings here and just see if there's anything else I need to change. But normally all that is fine there. And I would create the form. And then once that form is created, so create form. Once that form is created, then it will be part of here. And I can use that and any other form that I've created over again. I'm just going to change this to learn more. Bring it just there. Um, and that is mine done. And then what I can do is I can start launching that by pressing the publish button down there. And that is as quick as it takes in order to create a Facebook ad with a Facebook form that allows you to target uh, your ideal audience and get their emails and um, the email addresses, the names and the phone numbers. Uh, some that we run also have cities and a bit more uh, other information, including custom information that we want to capture from them as well. So Facebook forms is absolutely vital in order to gain those low um, priced but high quality uh, leads that come into your business that automatically go to your CRM system that allow you to nurture them um, via email uh, again and again and again without having to pay any more money than that initial um, Facebook lead cost that you spent on that person.